Hello, I am looking at question 21. Uh, let me read that out for you. RMC is a small firm that produces a variety of chemical products. In a particular production process, three materials are blended or mixed together to produce two products, a fuel additive and a solvent base. Each ton of fuel additive is a mixture of 2 by 5 ton of material 1 and 3 by 5 ton of material 3. A ton of solvent base is a mixture of half ton of material 1 and 1 by 5 ton of material 2 and 3 by 5 ton of material 3. After deducing the re relevant cost, the profit contribution is $40 for every ton of fuel additive produced and $30 for every ton of solvent produced. RMC's production is constrained by a limited availability of three raw material. For current production period, RMC has a, a availability of the following quantities and they say that material 1, 20 ton, material 2, 5 ton and material 3, 21 ton. So these are the limits uh, of material 1, 2 and 3 that we can use. We have to find out uh, by using linear programming how we can get a maximum profit and we have to find an optimal solution of each product and what is the projected total profit contribution is there any unused material if yes how much and if there are redundant constraints let's try to get everything from the words into a form of equation so we are given that fuel additive would require 2 by 5 ton of material 1 it does not require material 2 and require 3 by 5 ton of material 3 likewise solvent base would require half ton of material 1 1 by 5 ton of material 2 and 3 by 5 ton of material 3 so let us suppose we are making x uh, tons of fuel additive and y tons of solvent base if we plan to make x and y then our profit function I think it's 40 times x plus 50 times y uh, let me check that again but it should be something like that 30 f times fuel additive and solvent base so it's 40 and 30 and we need to maximize this function so we need to maximize now let's try to look at how much material we are going to use if we produce x tons of material a and y tons of material v, b or uh, x tons of fuel additive or y tons of solvent base now if, according to the equation for each ton of material uh, of uh, sorry fuel additive we require 2 by 5 ton of material 1 so if we create x tons of fuel additive we require x into 2 by 5 ton of material 1 and since we are producing y ton of solvent base we require y into 1 by 2 tons of material 1 so likewise I have listed the requirement of materials if we produce X amounts of fuel additive and Y amounts of solvent base. Now there are some constraints given to us. So based on those constraints we can see that this the first uh, uh, expression which is the amount of material 1 required should be less than 20. The amount of material 2 should be less than 5 and the amount of material 3 should be less than 21. Now with the help of uh, wolf frame alpha or you can just jumble up this equation you will get the equation as y is smaller than 40 minus 45, 4x by 5 and y is smaller than 70 minus 2x and here y is smaller than 25. In other words, if you were to point these out, you will get a chart like this for expression 1 and a chart like this for expression 2. I just use wolf frame alpha. Let's try to also use Excel to draw this graph. 
So to draw this graph, you need the equation in the slope intercept intercept form. So you need the slope of uh, all of these equations. So the slope of first equation is uh, minus 4 by 5. The slope of second equation is 0 and the slope of third equation is minus 2. So I have used the slope of all of the three equations. Now I need to put the intercept to get the equation into slope intercept format. So the first intercept is 40 then we have 45 because that equation is y is smaller than 25. So let me write that equation y is smaller than 25. Oops I think this should be 25. Yes. So y should be smaller than 25 and y should be smaller than 70 minus 2x. So now I have found out the value of y for each of uh, these three equations by using the formula y is equal to mx oops, y is equal to mx plus c. This is an equation of the line. So I have used different x and calculated different y. Once I have all the y for me for all the three equations that we are dealing with, let me arrange them. Then we can draw a very pretty chart out of them. So this is how my pretty chart looks like. Let me see if I can get a label. No. Okay, even if I don't get the label, this is the line 3, which is material 3. This is material 3, this is material uh, 2, and this is material 1, as uh, these orders suggest. So, as we saw on the graph, that we need to find out the minimum area which would be of this uh, line so we move along this red line then blue line then green line and for that the maximum point that we get that would maximize uh, this equation which use x and y is x equal to 25 and y equal to 20. If you look at this graph, these are the points that we have got. x equal to 25 because the area under curve that we need for this would be this area. Let me try to take this into paint and see if I can show you the area under curve. So the area on the curve that we need to do, let me see if I can get a big brush. So area on the curve is this red area that you can see on the graph and the point where we can get a maximum when we put x equal to 25 and y equal to 20 is the point where we can maximize this function. Now you can go along and search with 20 and 25 where you can say x is 20 and y is 25 and you can check that and once you do that you will find out that we get a maximum at this point. If you want this file you can uh, send me your email and I think I can get you this file. That was all. Thank you for listening.